Hi everyone, it's Goddess Lily. Well, this is the final outcome of my new wig. I thought I would just show it to you since I've been, you know, you saw the inside and a lot of the other little things. But anyway, let me get close and uh, let you kind of check it out. So, um, that's the hairline. It is a side part and it's made on the side part cap. This is the back. So this is 14 and 16 inch. It's the perfect length for me. Although I actually do have some new hair. I have 14, 16 and 18 inch. And this is hair from RoyalRemyHair.com. I have made a U-part wig for this client, and I love their hair. The hair, how it turned out, and the hair was just so pretty. I ordered it by my, for my own self, and I'll put the information below for that. But anyway, um, this is uh, Indian hair from Pauline's, who is a local wig store where I go buy my virgin Indian hair from here in Los Angeles. So I like it, loving how it turned out. And even though I like the length, I do think it's a little thin. I I want to add maybe one or two more tracks at the bottom, 16 inch, to give it a little more fullness, fullness at the bottom. But right now, you know, it's it's pretty nice because it's still in the 80s here in Los Angeles. So I actually um have the track sewn in the inside to cover this elastic strap. So hopefully it's doing a good job. <laughs> I haven't looked at it in the back. But I'm gonna uh, take it off and show you the inside and uh, that'll be the it, it for this video. Thank you for watching. Okay, so here is my new wig. So I wanna show you what the inside looks like. <clears throat> so this wig actually has a side part, so how I have to just hold it in the middle to see that that part's on the side. So what I did was I just used a black um, hair chart and just made the roots black or just kind of you know went over the inside of the part so it can match my hairline because it's really light and the hair that I leave out is um, is dark. Okay, so you actually saw the inside and what it looked like before or while I was making it. So this is it completely finished. This is the hair that's actually sewn in the inside to cover, you know, if I want to um, <clears throat> wear it up, like in a high ponytail, so it covers that. So that's actually, um, this is my custom strap. Let's see, that's one side. <laughs> this is my own custom strap design. I'm trying to find the other hook. It's actually not hooked in there. But anyway, um, it's getting kind of messy here. <laughs> so basically, you have to cover the combs with some kind of um, <clears throat> hem tape or you know seam binding or something you have to cover those little metal you know edges that's up in there or else these edges like that pointed edge it'll get caught on everything so after you hand sew your combs in you just you know hand sew some um, some binding hem tape over it. Okay, so this is the inside and uh, 
turned out nicely. Thank you for watching.